Hey girls, how you doing? Let's do another <laughs> another one. <laughs> and today is going to be what they not say. You know that I managed to do that video with three parts. That's new. And I started with two. So try and to explain that to me. I have no idea. Let's move on. <sighs> okay, so what they not say? Well, that's going to be interesting. Okay, let's do that again, right? <laughs> And we're gonna to stick to two parts, not three, not trois, trois, three. Get okay, I'm teaching you French, I'm telling you. Okay, let's go. Wow. One, two, one, two. Pal, number one. What are they not saying? Three of wands, seven of cups, the magician. Okay, that's very interesting indeed. So what they're not saying, I think, is that they have maybe three people. Um, maybe as well, they know that from day one you are the final destination, but they don't know how to get there, they don't know how to say it, they don't know what to do, but they found themselves maybe in a bit of a position here. Three people, too busy for my liking, I have to say. So they've been procrastinating, they've been not telling you anything, maybe they didn't tell you there were three people. Mm -hmm. That's interesting indeed. Uh, they maybe want to maintain that illusion, you know, that they by themselves, they you know, they're single. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Maybe they're not, right? So they manifested you maybe as well to get out of that third party because they know they're not in the right place with that person. Either way, they're not playing cool, I think, okay? So don't like it. Um, <laughs> the time is going to be right though for them to come out with that truth and make an offer. Maybe to say what happened, that they fell for you, they weren't expecting, they, they was not on the calendar, fair enough. But the timing was wrong no matter what. And also it's about right for them to say the truth now and to come with that offer. Maybe they're coming with some gifts as well, trying to make amend. Like you're going to be bought? No. They have to say the truth from day one, right? Um, mm -hmm. Frustration? You think so? Indeed. Indeed, because they're not saying the truth. They have to come full cycle. They put you on a pedestal. They, 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 they sort of you like, wow, you know, I cannot miss that. You know, there's an opportunity here. But at the same time, they didn't say the full truth. And that's my problem here. They want to start over, start again with a new beginning, a new chapter. But are you keen on that? Are you going to trust them again? For me, it's something had to crumble in order to rebuild the foundation, but this time from the beginning and properly with right foundation, proper concrete foundation. I think you, they have to come clean because they're not saying the truth, they're not saying there's someone else, um, or they're not saying the, 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 they're all feeling the whole truth all together, no matter which way we're going to look at it. For me, you have to start from scratch um, and they have to rebuild the truth. Uh, they have to build the trust, excuse me. Um, it's going to take a while. Hmm. They're coming fast because now they feel like they messed up. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Um, so they have to come very strongly as an emperor. Uh, male, female, doesn't matter. It's about I open my heart and I show my vulnerability. If they don't come strongly enough, then you won't. You won't accept that re-beginning because they lied to you once, they might lie to you again. Let's have a measure of Kena. Mm, I don't like that way of doing things. On the other hand, I understand you were not on the calendar, they didn't see you coming and you know they could have missed that opportunity, but is it the right way to do things? I doubt it. The devil, you think so? Mm -mm. For me, they were in a codependency, they were in a karmic relationship. Fair enough, they saw you as an exit door. Fair enough, but in the meantime, they hurt you. They hurt you and um, yes, it may be as well very sexual, uh, very sexually charged. For them, you were very attractive. They couldn't really miss that opportunity. I'm not sure about that. What they're not saying is the truth. <laughs> Simple like that, right? So part number two, and we're going to only have two powers today. Mm -hmm. uh, what are they not saying? Uh, six of Wands, Hangman, Ace of Thought. Well, what they're not saying is that they want to move towards you. They're leaving someone behind in order to be with you. They're choosing love. Um, they were in a certain way for a long time and now with you they completely changed their perspective. They thought they were with the love of their life for example and then they met you and they realized oh my goodness I have to make up uh, my mind and I also I think I'm very clear I know I don't want to be with that other person I was mistaken there's not happiness with you I have the happiness. It's really straight to the point here. Yeah, they had nostalgia of romantic love, but they didn't have that with the, 
their partner, their past partner. Obviously not. They want to be uh, either reconciled with you because they want to be Mr. and Mrs. with you and they want to be a couple with you. They want to be official. They want to actually share that cup of love. And it's really, I give you my heart, you give me yours. It's a romantic love here where they were not in a romantic relationship before. They thought they were with someone and they were in love with them, actually they realized they were not, they were lying to themselves. They might go through a divorce in order to make your relationship official. They have to do the right thing. They see you as someone they can build a future with. So they're not telling you that because maybe they're not ready yet. They're still with someone. They have to leave someone in order to be with you. Yeah, it's an idea of maybe juggling at the moment between two, but they know they may have been trying to not move forward with you but they can't avoid you because you are number eight infinity number so it's very very straight talking here so let's have a major arcana for pal number two what are they not saying let's have a look come on let's go <laughs> the hangman hangman come out a lot at the moment my goodness so yes we have the hangman twice here um then they thought their life was going a certain way and actually no Boom, bada boom, right? So there's a transformation here. There is a realization. I was thinking I was leaving the truth and actually I was completely wrong. I was thinking I was in a right relationship and I was completely wrong. And now, boom, I really open my eyes and see the truth and I see you. So on this note, have a beautiful day and I see you tomorrow. Ciao.